Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here today. Today we are gonna do my Resident Evil collection. Part two. Yep, part two. I did this video January 2018, and it was mainly to remember some of the stuff that I had at the point and an item that I had had since the beginning and I had sold that morning. Um, I sold my sealed copy of Resident Evil Code Veronica for the GameCube. Um, kind of wish I would have held on to it now since I sold it for 125 and it's now worth over 200 But what you don't do, um, it was something I needed the money right after Christmas and that's what I did. So we are going to go through an updated version of my Resident Evil collection. Um, how much has it grown since then? I honestly don't know what's new. I just know what I have. Um, I'm a huge Resident Evil buff. I love playing all the games. Um, no, I have not beaten them all. Um, but I love dabbling and playing in them. Um, the only ones of the main series I have not beaten are 4 and 7. And mainly because 4 used to piss me off when you had to get the president's daughter and protect her and carry her along the way. And 7, I just, I don't know why, I just never went through it. I, I don't know if it's the first person or whatever, but I played a little bit of it and never beat it. But let's go through this entire collection. Um, I'm going to start with the strategy guides just to get them gone off the table. Um... But I have a huge collection of um, Resident Evil strategy guides. And you guys be seeing April probably off the camera removing some stuff. But Resident Evil 5, they're in no order because um, I had to dig them out. Resident Evil 6, the hardback. Um, I've got the patches and everything that came with it somewhere. I do not remember where. Um, Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. Just picked these up not too long ago. I know that. Resident Evil Outbreak. Uh, this is my original. Um, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Me and April loved playing that when it came out. Um, Operation Raccoon City. Really, really don't like that game. Um, my, I think this, yeah, the GameCube version of Resident Evil 4. Um, Resident Evil Zero. Um, we have Veronica X. This is a neat one I always loved. This is the Resident Evil 2 and 3, two guides in one for the GameCube. Um, Resident Evil 3 versus Books Edition. I think this is for the GameCube version. Yeah. And another Resident Evil 3. This one, it has the maps and stuff still in it, but I pulled them out at one point. Um, go through and play it. Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, another Versus Books. You guys ever know, know see my um, strategy guide collection? I love this company. Um, Versus Books, great company. Um, Really, really thorough on their things. I wish they were still around, but hey, there ain't no strategy guide company still around. All right, now I have two copies of Resident Evil um, for the GameCube, but there's a reason I have two. Still can't part with this, but this is my original, and it is falling apart. The spine is breaking. Um, I was playing this last year during our um, strike at General Motors, and this book started falling apart, and I got on eBay and started looking around and somebody posted this one for like 10 bucks. Free shipping. And I was like, oh. I, I jumped on it because this thing, the spine's in great shape. So I will use, if I ever need it again, I will use this one if I need it. But other than that, I will probably use this eventually down the road if I ever need to go back through it. Um, uh, those are those. Uh, go through, we'll just start going through these piles. We got a couple piles here. I have Resident Evil Deadly Silence. Um, I got this from Retro Rec Room. It says I paid $18.99 and it did not have 
a manual with it. So, not a bad deal. This is a factory sealed copy of Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. Um, I had this years ago and I played through it. Um, really didn't care much for this one. I, I'm not too much on the survival like time things that you go through on Mercenaries. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever open it or not, but it's part of my collection. Um, Resident Evil Revelations on the 3 3DS. This is not the one with the um, misprint. I still need to get me a copy of that. Um, Resident Evil Revelations Collections on the Switch. Yes, I have opened this and used the, the code in it. So I don't remember which one. Uh, Revolutions 2 is the code. So, you know, this if I ever sold this, it'd just be part one. Um, here's a sealed origins. Um, I still need to get the triple pack that has four, five, and six on it, but I keep looking to see if I can find one on sale, but you know, never is one. We have Resident Evil, the dark side chronicles. We have Resident Evil, the umbrella chronicles. We have Resident Evil for the Wii edition. Resident Evil, the archives. And Resident Evil Archives, Resident Evil Zero. And of course, I always forget something when I do one of these videos. Uh, something else falls. All right. Um, go through the GameCube stuff. We have Code Veronica X. Um, great copy. Um, Still, I'm keeping the price tag on it. I can't can't pass this up. I bought this last year for $27 at a place in Indiana. <coughs> Resident Evil 4, the preview disc. Resident Evil 4. I'm getting ready to go, get ready to sit down and go through this off camera. Um, Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 2. The original and zero. And what I did forget when I got to the GameCube collection, I forgot. Um, I bought this at Mo Game Con 2019, was it? Yeah. Yeah. The Resident Evil 4 GameStop edition. It has a couple dents here and a dent down there, but there's no rust, no nothing else. It was complete. I was really stoked to get it and add it to the Resident Evil collection. All right, uh, let's just start with, I forgot everything PS2. And that's kind of stupid of me since I just got something new in today that's PS2. Um, and why I decided to shoot this video today is we're getting ready to spruce up the game room to do a game room tour. And I was like, hey, I'm getting ready to grab all this stuff out. And this is the biggest chunk of my collection. So let's do this so we can put it back and not have it all spread out well after we clean the game room let's do it before we clean it all right so let's start with let's just start with ps4 we'll just go through that all right ps4 we have resident evil origins still sealed um i think i played the xbox version resident evil 2 um, matter of fact, this is in the PS4. I just played through this the other day. Resident Evil 3. Um, this is the only version of this I have. I did not buy it on the Xbox One yet because I'm going to buy the Collector's Edition when I do. Um, a sealed Resident Evil 4. Um, Resident Evil 5. It is open. I just got done playing this a couple weeks ago with Bone Zeal 6. Revelation sealed. I played the Xbox One version. Revelations 2 sealed. Again, played the Xbox One. Resident Evil 6, just got done playing this with Bones. And Resident Evil 7. Um, I played this in VR not too long ago, but I've gotten further on the Xbox than I did the that one. Now while we're here in the modern systems, let's go through... Um, Resident Evil Origins. I know I said I played it on this, but before they released this, I'd bought the digital ones. 
um, Resident Evil 2. This is um, part of this collector's edition. This is what came in that. I'm trying to move stuff out of the way. It ain't working, okay? I do not have Resident Evil 3, the new one, on the Xbox. Like I said, I'm going to get it when I get the collector's edition. But I have Resident Evil 4. I've dabbled and played in that some. Resident Evil 5... Um, went through this since I got it on the Xbox One, Revelations, and I've went through Revelations 2. Um, went through Resident Evil 6 on the PS4. And here is the Biohazard 7 Gold Edition. Alright, um, while we're doing Xbox, let's go ahead and knock out the 360 bundle here we got. I have the Gold Edition Resident Evil 5. I have a sealed Raccoon, Operation Raccoon City. I'm going for variants. So I found one that's got the, I don't know what this free special ops mission DLC. I'm sure the DLC, if you open it up, is probably not good anymore. I have the Limited Edition Best Buy Edition one. Um, picked it up, I guess, at Half Price Books. I have Revelations, I have another Resident Evil 5, looks like the original copy. Resident Evil 6, this is probably my original copy. Then I also picked up Resident Evil 6 Archives. This includes Veronica X HD, Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition, Resident Evil 6, and Degeneration the Movie. Um, yeah, you get... Resident Evil 6 on a disc, voiceover pack, Degeneration the movie, and I'm not sure if everything else is probably, I don't know, I don't know if they're on the disc or if they were DLC, I never did look into it, I don't think I've ever put it in, it doesn't say on the back, so, yeah, they were, um, they were little bonus things, probably DLC. So somebody probably already redeemed them. Redeemed on Marketplace. Uh, Veronica, Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil 5. So it's not a complete one, but it still was in nice condition. I figured I'd add it to a collection. Maybe I might try to find a sealed one someday so I can get the whole thing complete. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do, um, PS3 and PS2, PS1. All right. We'll do them in order. Yep. Take some more stuff all over. We will do PlayStation 1 first. And I guess why we're there, go ahead and knock out these. Um, Nintendo 64, I have a loose cart Resident Evil 2. Um, really nice condition. When we did the first video, I had this complete in box, but um, I had probably, what was it, a third, almost a half of, almost half of the N64 in box. Yeah. To save room in the game room, we have sold all the boxes, so I even sold this one. Um, actually sold it for a good price, so. Yeah, Resident Evil 2, um, loose. I'm fine with having everything 64 loose. I, uh, the only Saturn one I have is the Biohazard Import Edition. Um, I think I paid five bucks free shipping on this for eBay, I think. Uh, not exactly sure, but I know I got it for a steal. It came from overseas, and I was by the time it got here, I done forgot that I ordered it. All right, now like I said, go back to the PS1. We have the long box Resident Evil. Um, excellent condition, styrofoam, looks like it's hardly ever been played. I don't even think I've played it since I got it. Um, Resident Evil Survivor. I have Nemesis, I still need to find the greatest hits. And I think there might be another version, I'm not sure. I have the greatest hits of the Resident Evil 2 in the Slim case. I have the DualShock support Resident Evil 2. I have um, Wind Part in the movie, the Resident Evil 2 one. All right. 
Now I gotta check to see if anything broke. All right, nothing broke. Oh, they were sitting on top of the Switch games and just toppled over. So we have Resident Evil, the director's cut, greatest hits version. We have Resident Evil director's cut like this. Includes the interactive demo of um, Resident Evil 2. $5 off coupon. I forget if the coupon, yes, the coupon is still on the book. So. Then we have Resident Evil, the original version. So that's the PS1. Then we have, let's do PS2. Uh, I have the Black Label PS4 version of Resident Evil 4. I have the greatest hits. Code Veronica with the bonus demo of Devil May Cry. Then I have Code Veronica, the Greatest Hits version. Resident Evil Dead Aim. Resident Evil Outbreak. Then this one's actually a little harder to find. It's the Resident Evil Outbreak Greatest Hits Sealed. Then I have Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. And like I told you guys the other day in another video that I was waiting to do this video because I'd ordered something. Um, I found this on Walmart.com of all places. This is Resident Evil, the Essential Collection, sealed, factory sealed. Comes with Resident Evil 4, Veronica, and Outbreak, which, as you already see, I've got all three of these games, but I didn't have the Essential Collection to add to the collection. So... I bought this, um, I think it was $40, so I didn't think that was a bad price. Um, everybody on eBay was wanting a lot more than what Walmart was charging, so I was like, buy it. Cap would be very disappointed that that's not open. Well, okay. It might not be open, but... I know. Let's see. This one's open, this one's open, and this one's open. It's the same game. I know. Black label and everything. So you know you're going to give you... Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now we're going to do the little tiny PS3. And I just picked up a new one that I haven't even shown off yet. Which is... Um, did not realize I did not have revelations for the PS3. That shocked me. Um, bought it at Trading Games with a, a new controller that I didn't have in the collection. That I picked up the other day. The Steelbook edition of Operation Raccoon City... Um, Honestly, I don't even remember where I picked this up at. We have Operation Raccoon City, just the original version. I know there's a Best Buy version and there's one other one. I'll get them eventually. The Resident Evil 6 disc. Um, Resident Evil 5, the Gold Edition. And Resident Evil 5 Steelbook, which I know is supposed to come in a collector's pack and everything. I'm going to buy one eventually. But they are jumping up and move quite a bit. Jumping up and move. Jumping up in price. So I saw something. I was like, hmm. I'm like, hey, PlayStation Move compatible. I wonder how well that actually works. I might actually have to try that. But yeah, PlayStation, here, PlayStation 3. So that takes me down to just these collectible pieces that we have here. So... Now, um, you know, this is the statue that came inside um, the collector's edition of Resident Evil 2 of Leon. Like I said, I'm going to eventually get the... I'm done by the Xbox One version of the um, Resident Evil 3 remake. With Jill, right? With Jill. I, I will get that. When I do, I'll let you guys know. Um, and also, I w really want to find the... Resident Evil 7, the biohazard one, with the house for the Xbox One. 
As much as I'd love to collect all the variants, I'm not going to collect the collector's edition for both systems because these boxes take up way too much room. If I did that, that would be way down the line when we got a house and I had a lot more room to put things. Oh, this is um, kind of cool. Um, the owner of Trading Games gave it to me. He said it was hanging on his wall for years. It's a Capcom Resident Evil Outbreak like um, watch you would put on your pant buckle or whatever. He's, got a compass. Yeah, he got it um, as a promotional item from something. Said it was hanging on the wall for years and decided to just give it to me one day. And I was like, oh, this is sweet. So, like it, um, the battery's dead in it. I mean, I could probably take it somewhere and have them opened up, put a battery in it. Because I don't know, I don't know how, but I don't know. I'm, I know I'm not going to wear it. So, kind of, what's the point of putting the battery in it? But I just think it's cool. Um, I leave it set here in Leon's um, gun holster. I, um, I bought this years and years ago. Oh, it's, it's before we moved to Missouri. Yeah, this I could tell you how old this is. Uh, 2000. Says 2008 on it. So yeah, this is yeah. really old. This is an old energy drink, uh, but it's labeled in the. Um, Resident Evil T-Virus uh, Antidote. Um, I'm listening. There's still, you guys hear it? There's still liquid in it, So, but I'm not opening it. I have this one. I have a Sonic one. I have a Ghost. Ghostbusters. And I think there's a Pac-Man one somewhere in the room. No, a Mario, Mario one. I just see it. There's a Ghostbusters, Mario, and a Sonic one. Um, they were selling these at a store called Disc Replay over in Indiana. And I was like, hey, cool. I was like, let's buy these. And we just kind of, they've been just going with us through the years. All right. I know you guys have seen this. I've showed this off in a couple videos. So I'm really not going to get it out. This is the Resident Evil Chainsaw. I've even done a video of me trying to play it. Boy, does this thing suck. Um, am I done a beat the game and play the game with this no but does it look cool yes it's awesome this is the ps2 version um eventually i'm gonna try to find me a gamecube one um i really want the gamecube version i've made a couple offers on it but eh, i'm probably never gonna find it um for the steal that i got this one um the story behind this was what Missouri Game Con 2018, the first one we ever went to. Um, the next day we were going to the VIP event and a guy had this priced at 40 on Facebook and I offered him 30 and he took it. He said the only thing was it's missing the late, a sticker that goes up here, but it has all the paperwork, all the authentic, everything that came with it. So for $30, I thought this was, a great pickup surprised that it worked and everything I was like oh and then um, I'm not gonna open this because I don't want the video to be too much longer what I'll do is I'll leave a description or I'll leave a link down in the description to when I did open this and you guys can go back and watch that video um, sorry for the editing on that I know mean, I was pretty raw and still trying to learn a lot of camera angles so but yeah, this is the collector's edition of the Resident Evil 2. And I'll also leave a link in the description of me playing with the um, Resident Evil 4 controller. You guys want to go back and see that. Plus, you want to see the difference between this collection and the original, I'll also leave a link down to that. But hey, like I said, I wanted to get this out there, let you guys see it before I um, spick and span the game room and didn't want to rip all this back down again. So... Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Retro Mikey 78 and we'll be back here shortly with um, a lot more content. So check me out later. Mm -hmm.